and the heat flux that is Q by A, the amount of heat, the rate of heat transfer per unit area is referred to as heat flux. And it flux in uh, is introduced in conduction, convection, and radiation from different questions. Like for example, in case of conduction, conduction is based on Fourier's law. Its formula says Q is equals to minus K A into delta T by delta X, where K is the thermal conductivity, A is the area of heat transfer, Q is the heat rate of heat transfer, and delta T by delta X. That means the change in temperature divided by the distance between. Now the questions that are being asked from this conduction are most of the times um, very specific, very direct. Like, for example, in a gate question like this, it is based on convection. Uh, this came into the question is flux of 500 watt per meter square is supplied to one face of a food material having a plate like structure. Like, for example, you have a plate like structure of this, and from one face, we are adding a heat flux. 500 kilo uh, 500 watt per meter square the thermal conductivity of the material is given that is 1.5 watt per meter per degree celsius and the thickness is also given that is 10 mm now from the other face of the field food material heat is dissipated by convection into a fluid of 40 degrees celsius so let, let's just assume key the ambient temperature at this phase is at 40 degrees celsius we need to find out the heat transfer position is of the fluid is given take care and the temperature of the surface to which that means we need to find out the temperature at this phase so heat flux that is q by a and because we are concerned about conduction over here so it, the Fourier's law would be applied that is minus k to delta t by delta x now minus i'm removing from here because we are transferring heat from higher temperature to a lower temperature body so i've just put in over here so Q by A, that is 5 by 100, which is the heat flux. K key value is also given, that is 1.5 multiplied by delta T. That means temperature at this phase minus 40 degrees Celsius divided by delta X, that is 10 divided by 1000, because we need to convert it into meters. So ultimately, on solving this, we will get T at around 43.3 degree celsius so the option a will be the right answer now another major uh, topic from which heat transfer questions come is the heat convection convection is another uh, mode of heat transfer and it is based on the newton's law of Cooling. Now, the formula associated with convection is Q is equals to HA into TF minus TS. That means delta T. So, if we are writing in terms of heat flux, then Q by A is equals to H into delta T. Now, T can be compared to the thermal conductivity where, uh, sorry, H can be compared to the thermal conductivity where H is equals to thermal conductivity divided by the boundary layer thickness. So, again, the questions that come from convection are most of the time specific. Sometimes they would be asking related to different geometries wherein the convection is being applied, but most of them are specific. Like in this case, the question says the rate of heat transfer from a metal plate is 1000 watt per meter square. So we are given with the flux. We are given with the flux that is 1000 watt per meter square. The next thing is the surface temperature of the plate is 120 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. The convective heat transfer coefficient we have to find out. So H into delta T. So delta T, H would be 1000, that is Q by A, divided by delta T, which is 120 minus 20. So we'll be getting 1000 divided by 100. H key value would be coming as 10. So directly we had to put in the value of a convection, a uh, law of convection, that is the Newton's law of cooling, and we would get the answer. Again, uh, similar to the conduction and convection, radiation is another mode of heat transfer, wherein we calculate the net heat transfer. Because every body that has a temperature above the absolute zero is able to emit certain amount of energy. So we will calculate the net heat transfer because from e either of the body heat transfer would occur but the net heat transfer will be considered for it from a higher temperature body to a low temperature body which will be equal to emissivity into 
uh, the stiffened Boltzmann constant into area n to t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4, which is the formula for the radiation. Now, the question that came related to this was the heat is transferred by radiation to a loaf of a bread that is in place in oven that is at a room tem uniform temperature of 177 degrees Celsius and the total surface area and temperature of the loaf is 0 0.0645 meters square and 100 degrees Celsius respectively. Now the surface emissivity of this loaf is 0.85 and the stephen Boltzmann constant key value is also given to us. We have to find out the net heat transfer. So I'm writing the net heat transfer would be equal to emissivity into the constant multiplied by area T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. Now, one of the major concerns is that temperature that we put in over here should be in kelvins, not in degrees Celsius. So Q key value, we have to find out emissivity uh, is 0.85 multiplied by 573, 5.73 into 10 to the power minus 8 multiplied by area of heat transfer that is 0 0.0645 T1 that is 177. So we need to convert it into kelvins and adding 273 to it. So you'll be getting 450, 450 degrees Celsius, 450 to the power 4 minus 373 to the power 4 and ultimately on solving we will be getting certain value for q which is the net heat transfer for this medium and that will come out to be we are getting 0.85 multiplied by this okay and multiplied by this and ultimately we will be getting the value which is nearly 67.3 watts so this is the answer for this question. Now, other than the direct questions related to heat transfer, one of the major category that uh, uh, from, from which questions arise is the heat exchangers. Now, heat exchangers may be parallel or counter current. Both are commonly used. Both have different applications. Heat transfer. Talking about heat transfer, if we are talking about heat transfer, we have major categories. One is the parallel plate heat exchanger or the counter current flow, right? So in case of counter current flow and parallel, the difference between these two is the flow or the direction of fluids. Like for example, we have two pipes in over here. Similarly, in this case, we have two pipes. Now, the in case of parallel fluid, the hot fluid and the cold fluid move with the same in the same direction but in case of counter current one of the fluid moves in the opposite direction that means both moves in the counter current direction so uh, the heat transfer would be the same in either of the cases that is q is equals to m cp delta t for the hot fluid that means amount of heat rejected by the hot fluid would be equal to the amount of heat gained by the cold fluid so we will be getting like this. Now the overall heat exchanger ki baat kare, so Q can also be find out by H into A into delta T LMT that is the log mean temperature difference and to find out the log mean temperature difference we need to know the formula that is delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by ln delta T1 by delta T2 right where delta T1 is the temperature difference from the first phase, that is delta T1, and here delta T2. Like for example, things would be more clear by the example. In the example, we have an orange juice that is flowing at 0.8 kg per second, which enters a double pipe counter current heat exchanger. So orange juice is entering at 20 degrees Celsius and leaving at 72 degrees Celsius while because it is counter current, so hot water would be entering in the opposite direction and it would be 81 degrees Celsius and 74 degrees Celsius, right? So we have got the temperatures of the orange juice and the water and we are doing heat transfer between them. Heat, ex heat is being exchanged. Now we need to find out the heat transfer surface area. We know that Q is equals to HA into delta T LMTD, right? We can find out LMTD. So we will it will be delta T1 minus delta T2 divided by ln delta T1 by delta T2, right? So here delta T1 would be 20 minus 74. That means 74 minus 20, that is 54. 
minus 81 minus 72 that is 9. So delta T2 is 9 ln 54 by 9. So on solving we will get uh, delta LMTD nearly 20. 5.11 degrees Celsius, which is fine. You got the value of LMTD. We know we have to find out the value of area. We need we know H, but we do not know anything about Q. So one thing we know is the amount of heat rejected by the orange juice is equal to amount of heat gained by the water. So orange juice ke case mein mass rate de rakha hai, specific heat de rakha hai, delta T de rakha hai. So we can find out the value of Q, which would be equal to M C P delta T, which is 0.8 multiplied by 3.74 multiplied by 72 minus 20 which is 52. So we can find out the value of MQ from here. So I'm just putting it over here directly 0.8 multiplied by 3.74 multiplied by uh, 52 which should be equals to H that is 492 multiplied by area multiplied by 25.1 and from this we can find out the value of area which will come around 12.6 meters square so this 12.6 is the overall heat transfer area for this entire heat exchanger 